It was a marine reptile of the late Cretaceous. A little bigger than a dolphin and a fast swimmer. Imagine that one of the creatures in the shallows is a pregnant Dolly Corincops. She gives birth to a male, 18 inches long and colored like his mother. And a female, darker in color, with light patches below her eyes. And it's her life we begin to follow. She and her brother are air breathers. Instinct tells them what they have to do. From the beginning, the little female and her brother practice leave the safety of the shallows for the dangerous seas beyond. If she survives the perils to come, she'll return here one day and have young of her own. Already, she finds competition for food. And the Styxosaurus, a distant cousin of An adult can reach 35 feet in length, more than half of it, neck. soon comes across creatures that move by They have rock hard armor and perhaps another defense. Swim too close like the little female and get a face full of ink. The very time when the Dolly Corinne cops lived. Months have passed, and the female and her brother are now juveniles. But they're still in the safety of the shallows, and unaware of the huge predators in the sea beyond. For now, they're mastering the art of catching their favorite prey. must follow their main source of food. But there were other predators more easily spotted. As fish go, Xyphactinus was just And this day, Dollies keep their eyes trained for predators. And one is about to change their lives. The female and her brother are being watched. But it's their mother who becomes the target. Their mother is gone, but it isn't over. A smaller shark goes after the young female. She's, but she survives the initial charge.
her injury will heal. Or she'll always carry a shark's tooth embedded in her flipper. The two youngsters must now continue on their own. If the female and her brother are going to survive, they'll have to find food. Finally, they see something familiar. A school of encoders, trailed by other dollies. For several weeks, the travelers push on. The female's flipper is slowly healing, the embedded tooth now surrounded by scar tissue. The young female is drawn away by a potential meal of squid. The female has put herself directly in the sights of a giant by surprise. But her brother doesn't see the danger coming. The female moves on with the others. deaths of her mother and brother, but she survived. Among them is the dolly with the wounded flipper, now fully grown. She's completed her journey and returned to the waters of her birth. And after several seasons, she becomes a mother. Her young will grow larger and stronger, and one day set out on their own journey through the inland sea. Day by day, month by month, life plays out. She sees several litters of her offspring mature and depart on lives of their own. When the mother can't finish the migration. One quiet day, when old age has weakened her body, her life comes to a gentle end.